yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from yeah. What is good y'all, welcome back to yet again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again With another bring a video for you guys As y'all can see, I'm coming at you guys live from Vader You dig what I'm saying? The big one L E thing and y'all see that check engine light on the dashboard because we still have that issue. However, I got good news, man. This video is actually positive, man. Um, we figured it out. We actually know what's wrong with the car. What am I doing? What's causing the check engine light? I'm gonna get to that shortly, but y'all already know. We got a. Um, we then blew off some steam <laughs> we go ahead and jump straight into today's video um and you guys already see the title you see the thumbnail so y'all know what it's about man basically with that check engine light like i said earlier in the vlog um we actually figured out what's causing it specifically like what the issue is shout out to my boy Luis at back at work um so basically the passenger side AFM valve you guys know we've had issues with these in the past um, When I first got the car it actually threw a code for this exact reason um, And y'all noticed that when we went below the car the harnesses for these valves They're not like secure all the way. So Basically what's going on is the passenger side valve is stuck closed and the harness is not responding It's not sending any like it's not accepting any communication so it won't open back up hence the check engine light so that being said there's two ways that i can go about fixing this issue the first way is to simply go on wildhammermotorsports.com and buy the awe delete kit which is basically two brackets that mount up to the valves basically simulates as the valve and it stays open so that way the car doesn't you know bug out 
Now, the other way to fix this issue is to get a new bud connector for the harness itself because as you guys know, the retaining clip does not work on either one of the harnesses. So like I said, I can literally just pop them off by slightly pulling them. Um, and that passenger side harness, I recently went underneath the car and checked it and this is what I found. All right, y'all, so I got the car in the air right now. The code is for these joints right here. And as y'all see, yeah, they were definitely, they definitely backed their way out. So yeah, man, I don't know how well you guys can tell from that video, but the harness had a little bit of corrosion on the male and female pins. So I'm pretty sure it's just not getting a full, full electrical connection, um, which is why it's stuck open and it's not you know listening to any communication because like i said we tried to use the dealership computer to manually open the valves and they're just not cooperating the valve did not open at all it stayed closed so that being said the harness is probably fried um so i'm not 100 percent sure if i get the delete kit from awe through Wildhammer Motorsports if it's gonna work solely because that harness is messed up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to parts um, tomorrow and I'm gonna have them order the harness. I'll replace the harness and we'll see if it um, allows the valve to open again. If it does, then we should have no more check engine light because like I told y'all, Vader, and as y'all just seen, Vader drives perfectly fine. Um, it does eat gas crazy but that's literally the only issue however i was having mad issues um on sunday for the cruise and you guys will see that video um coming up here shortly where it was almost as if i had no throttle the car was kind of bugging out a little bit um i was trying to get some runs in i was doing a 50 roll the car didn't shift It was just tripping a little bit and I think it's because that valve was closed the car has mad back pressure which is not supposed to have um, because if you guys don't really understand or know about the cylinder deactivation or the active fuel management basically what it happens is to save gas Chevy has implemented both of those systems what it is is there's two valves that are in the exhaust right before the axles and whenever the car goes into four cylinder mode, it basically closes those valves to create enough back pressure for your car to go into four cylinder mode and still run properly. Then once it goes to full V8, the valves open and now you lose majority of that back pressure allowing the car just to breathe and flow and move as it wants. Now that being said y'all, you know what I'm saying? Since my valve is closed, the car is just tripping out. And that's why the check engine light is on. Now, honestly, I stopped uploading on YouTube and I stopped like posting videos and whatnot solely because I don't like posting repetitive content. You guys know this. And I just wasn't able to find the solution to the issue at the time. So it was just like, why would I even continue to videos updating you guys letting y'all know that I don't have it solved you know what I'm saying like oh what's up J.I. Squad uh, just you know tuning in to let you guys know the problem is still here it's not fixed I, I didn't feel like dropping multiple videos doing that so that's why you guys haven't been getting uploads and whatnot and I apologize for that but we did just hit 5,900 plus subscribers. The J.I. Squad is growing every single day. I appreciate you guys so much more than you guys know. We are on the road to 10K. We're about to hit 6K, man. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, man.
pop right there was crazy. But anyway, I don't want to post videos that you guys don't want to watch because when I do that, it takes away from the excitement that you guys get whenever you get that notification saying that I dropped a video or whenever you see that I dropped a video, you're not going to be as excited to watch it because, you know what I'm saying, you think that's a filler vlog. I just posted two, three filler vlogs, so of course, this next one is going to be a filler too. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole reason behind me not uploading um the past couple of days but you know we're back on the grind i'm still working on you know things there's some modifications that i want to do to vader here soon um cosmetically to kind of change up the look of the car and stuff like that and i still want to paint the wheels gloss black i've really really been going back and forth about doing that and i think i'm just gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and i'm gonna do it because it's gonna make the calipers pop and it's gonna kind of change up the look of the car a little bit man um, so y'all stay tuned for that blacked out Vader coming soon. No cap All right, y'all. So as y'all can see we're back at the JIHQ man um, But I am trying to get back to uploading for you guys me and Alex was actually just working on a new intro So stay tuned for that if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications Like I said earlier, we just hit 5.9 K subscribers we're on the road to 10k so if you haven't already subscribed man do us a favor join the ji squad hit that subscribe button man and turn on post notifications like i said get this video a big thumbs up if you're excited for the fact that vader is staying and we are working through these issues and we're one step closer to solving every last one of the problems and then pushing forward with this build give this video a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section down below it's been your boy J.I. I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.